What's up everyone, Matt Wasik here. Welcome to my channel. You'll notice, of course, right away, we're not in my office like I normally am. I'm actually currently traveling for Christmas weekend at the moment as the time that I'm filming this video. You can actually see the window. I'm in sunny South Florida. You can see the palm trees and stuff. It's nice, I will say that. It's a whole lot better than what I'm gonna be heading home to. Anyways, what I wanna do in this video is basically show and explain to you guys what I think is the best way to, to find the right niche to serve with your digital marketing agency. Notice how I didn't say target because the word target in that context, to me, sounds like you're going at it with selfish intentions and what you need to be doing is serving a market. That's what you're doing when you're going into business. We're not going in there and we're not, we're not trying to take. We're, going, we're giving something and get what you want in return, which is for most people, that's currency in some way, shape or form. And real quick, as I was editing this video, I realized I did not share with you the numbers that my agency is currently producing. I know later on in this video, I do mention hitting 12,000 monthly recurring revenue. And the day I filmed this was on the 27th and the very next day we actually signed another client. So that's propelling us here to 13,725, so just under 14K. The reason I do this is because one, I believe in being transparent with you guys. If you're taking your time out of your day to invest into watching my content, I'm extremely thankful and grateful. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to be the fake gurus who I absolutely despise because they're showing off their course sales numbers or their affiliate offer numbers or whatever it is. And then nine times out of 10 in the videos they do on YouTube or in their ads, especially probably even the ads you're gonna see in this video, they're showing you 50K a month, 250K a month, 6 million bucks over 2.5 years, whatever it is that they're showing off. The vast majority of the time, it is the numbers behind their course sales. It's not the actual business model that they are teaching within their course. And so, I believe in being transparent because I have a conscience and I wanna build a community of people that are all on the same page. We're not being deceptive or any of that type of nonsense. Down here, you will see MMR for all products. And so actually, you know, I'll refresh the page because I know I didn't yet. There it is, Landscape Marketing Pros, MMR right there. So if we check this box right here, the numbers are all congruent as you can tell. And so MMR for all products, basically what that means is for these top two right here are the products and these are subscriptions that I set up within Stripe. It's very, very slick because you can set this up to have clients on auto pay, keeps their card on file, bills them the same day every single month and they will provide you a cool checkout card basically and it's extremely professional, very, very seamless. And so that's what I've been using the past four or so months. Prior to that, I was using pay funnels because Stripe did not have this functionality quite yet. And so that's what these are, these other products, digital marketing service program and so forth. That's what these all are right here. So again, I do this for transparency because I believe in being honest with you guys watching my content. I'm very thankful you guys are here watching and I really hate fake gurus. So I wanna show you guys the realities of what it's like to build this type of business. And I absolutely despise fake gurus because when I was trying to get this stuff started, they just showed off their course sales numbers. And that's part of what hindered my progress when I was initially getting everything going. So anyways, those are the numbers that we're doing. Let's get back to the video. And so, I'm actually gonna sit down here for this. So a lot of you guys have been asking, how do I find the right niche to work in? What's the best way, all of this sort of stuff. So there of course are the niches that are going to be what I think are probably the best. And that's gonna be home services specifically because of the fact that it's a very simple scalable process to get clients results from client to client to client to client, regardless of where they're at in the United States. And so, or even Canada or Australia as well. But some of the home service niches that I think are gonna be the best is really anything that has a sale price for whatever the client sells of a, a five grand or more. So if you want the short answer, it's gonna be a client that can make five grand or more on one particular sale, because then it's very easy if you can get 10 of those in a year, which is very easily doable if you're doing things right with, with SEO or even other forms of marketing, then it's a huge ROI. You could easily charge 1,500, two grand a month. It's something that you could sell all day long because you're turning $1 for that client into $2. And in most instances, if you do things right, you're gonna be able to turn that into a whole lot more for them. And they're gonna be more than willing to continue paying that paying that investment to your company in order to have those leads continue to come in. So to me, the top niches are in the home services. So these are gonna be things like custom decks. Of course, landscaping is good, but if you're getting into landscaping, SEO or lawn care SEO, or even tree service side of things or snow removal, you're going up against me and my agency. So I would really just advise finding a different niche because you're gonna be going up against me. And we're gonna be doing our best to outperform everyone else. That is working within the green industry, specifically the companies that are at the 200K to a million dollar a year mark in terms of their sales and helping them scale. So some of the other industries that I would look into would be decks, painting contractors, roofing contractors, siding, windows. There are, I mean, really just look at all the elements of a house 
and things that need to be either replaced or repaired in some instances. So like remodeling is a great one because those are 10, 20, 50, hundred thousand dollar projects. And if you can get two of those in a year for a client, they're going to be more than thrilled to stay on board working with you. And so it really is that simple. Just looking at those types of things in terms of what's good to serve, what's a good industry to actually serve because it'd be definitely difficult in certain industries. So for example, like house cleaning or something like that, there's definitely the opportunity there. But with a small ticket service, you really have to be able to push a lot of volume and it, it can become a very stressful situation for you as an agency owner because of the fact that you, that you have to produce a ton of leads in order for them to get a good return because their services that they sell are such small ticket services. And granted, it may, maybe their clients do stay on for a very long time. However, the fact that it's just a lower ticket sale, like for example, with fertilizing weed control in the lawn care space, that's like 400, 500 bucks a year. And their mar then they have to work into their margin, their product costs, their labor costs, and you figure out, okay, they actually profited X amount, whatever that may be. And yes, they may stay on for three, four, five years, but okay, that's basically the margin from that is one month's investment from that. So you need to at least gain them well over 20 new clients a year. And I mean, that's that's usually doable with, with the right SEO in the right area. But just be aware that working with companies that do small ticket services, it can be a little bit more difficult for them to get the ROI and the shock factor with them getting a couple new maintenance or recurring clients that are low ticket is not as exciting for them as it is when you help a client that lands a 20, 30, $50,000 project as a result of your services. So that's the first thing to be aware of there is just work within the niches that make at least 5,000 bucks per sale, maybe even 2,500 on the low end or something like that. And obviously certain projects are gonna be different prices. So a landscape project could be a thousand bucks, it could be 50,000 and it could be anywhere in between that. Same with other aspects of the home where people will renovate, replace, install new, whatever it may be. And so that's figuring out the actual niche. Now the next thing that you need to assess is what do you have experience in? Because if you do not understand the industry, how the sales cycle works, what the services they do actually are. And if you're someone that's outside of the United States, it's going to be tough to figure this out. I'm sorry that it just is. You're gonna to have to put in the work and figure out how to learn about this. There are sources all over the internet. You can go to Facebook groups, which I would really suggest not doing, especially if you have your agency's name in your job profile or whatever, your about us section or about you section in the, on your Facebook page, because you're gonna get banned. As soon as someone sees that you're a marketing agency owner, unless you're invited into the group. There are Reddit sections for those types of industry owners, and then there are also forums online that are not as heavily trafficked as social media, but there is still traffic at those where you can learn about the industry. Even check out YouTube videos. Some companies will vlog their content on what they do their day to day, or they have a little bit of details about their company. Some will even have like time-lapse videos of projects, so that way you can at least understand what goes on in their projects that they do, and if, you and that's going to be extremely helpful for those who are have never been involved in a certain industry that you want to serve with your digital marketing agency now if you're someone who has a few years work experience something like that look back at what you've had for previous jobs that were maybe in the home service industry or maybe you worked for a dentist office or a law firm or whatever it is and you understand the sales cycle and all that sort of stuff and you know how to get them good results and you could definitely take a look into working into those niches another one is like plastic surgery and all that other stuff like that i don't really look into the medical industry because i don't know it very much at all and I just know home services extremely well, and I know landscaping very, very, very well. So that's why I work within the landscaping industry with my agency. So the top thing to take away from this is whatever you've had work experience in, whether you're 18, maybe you've worked only in restaurants and you see that there is an opportunity to serve restaurants with some type of marketing or an ad strategy that would work and benefit that you can set into maybe a long-term service program, because again, we wanna have clients that are staying on board for one year, two year, three, five years here. We don't wanna have clients come on for three months and then churn and then have to just continue the cycle. That's not a very fun business to be in and it's also just very stressful. So if you're someone who's also maybe been in corporate America for 30 years or whatever it is, what I would suggest doing is looking into where you've worked previously in the past. Maybe you was in college, you were helping a moving company and you have somewhat of an idea of kind of how the business works. There's an opportunity right there. And that's actually one of the industries that I didn't think of initially in this video was moving companies. That's a good one. Dex I think is a great one because again, those are going to be 20, 30, $50,000 for a single deck. That's my take on niche selection. Just find something that, that can have the one-off sales that are higher ticket, five, 10, 15, 20, $50,000 or more. And if you have some experience in a particular industry, whether you worked a job or you owned a business in that field in the past, go into that. That's right. I owned a landscape company for five years. Before that, I worked for lawn care companies, worked for landscape companies, worked for municipalities doing lawn care and landscape. Basically been immersed in that industry my 
since I was 15 years old. So basically half my life. And so what you need to be able to do is immerse yourself just as much. So if you have experience working in the industry or not, either way, go out to go online to the forums, the Reddit, the YouTube, everywhere else and figure out where those types of companies, the contractors, those business owners hang out and get information on what their services if you don't not understand how the services actually work. And then two, you can see what their problems are, what they're complaining about. If it's related to lead flow, you can solve them pretty simply. So that's my take on niche selection. A lot of you guys asked about that in the comments and in our Facebook group. So that is basically my take on that. Just it's really that simple. Just find something. And if you got to take on clients that are outside of the industry that you are working in, in order to get some revenue coming in, then do it. Make sure you're focusing in on becoming the go-to agency in your particular niche that you are serving. And when you really focus in, you can get them great results, have them do testimony videos, get them on your website, get them into ads as retargeting ads or even cold traffic. And from there, you're going to be able to start scaling and get your business to new heights like we were able to do here recently crossing over 12,000 bucks in recurring monthly revenue over at my agency landscape marketing pearls as we start to close out December, 2021. So with that said, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it went down below, dropped a like on this video. Be sure to also go down below, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so that way you know when all the newest content comes live here on my channel. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram. That is where I'm sharing a lot of just cool behind the scenes content and other stuff like that. That'll be the first thing in the description as well as the pinned comment beneath this video. So be sure again to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you know when all the newest content comes live here on the channel. You can have a whole lot more stuff related to building a digital marketing agency and, and really just providing the information that I wish I knew five years ago because it would have saved me a ton of time and a ton of frustration, a ton of stress and a ton of just horrific times of trying to, to at least get this business up and running off the ground. So comment your thoughts below, comment your questions if you have any. Subscribe, hit the bell, like button, and we'll see you in the next video.